All right, happy Saturday. Been working it real hard today. ADHD off the charts. Went to Walmart. Got provisions for the week. This is what we got. Some fresh tuna. Yes, believe it or not. Walmart actually has pretty decent fresh fish. Salmon, tuna, cod, and uh, it's at the end of the meat out. And this is what I want to do with this tuna real quick. Talk to Zane. He said he's good but doing a little bit of the uh, Asian season. Now this is the thing about the tuna. If you cut it as uh, cook it as a whole piece, you have to cook it long enough for the inside to uh, cook fully, which tends to overcook the outside. So what I'm doing with this is I'm going to slice it, and I'm going to season it, and I'm going to let it marinate in my seasoning, and then that way. With these thinner slices, <clears throat> after my vegetables are already cooked, I'll be able to flash cook this. Flash cook this tuna, and I won't have to worry about it drying out. There's nothing, I, I absolutely love fresh tuna right off. Man. If you can catch them on the boat, blue water fishing, bleed them out right there. Nothing better than sushi grade. Mm. Gotta watch the camera work here because what I'm trying to do. Let's mm. not get the fish. You gotta watch it with fish. There's some craziness that happens when you get fish all over. Bacteria happens real quick. So here's a little Chinese fire spice. I'm always very careful not to get my fish hands one of my seasonings. I know you all know what Chinese fire spice is. I'm going to blend that in just a little bit. And then turn it get both sides and the whole idea with this is literally marinate at room temperature I'm not worried about the fish going bad while I'm cutting and cooking up my vegetables because it's all going to get cooked now you don't want to leave fish out let it get to room temperature and then put it back in the refrigerator well, that's just asking for sickness and stomach issues and all that happiness this happiness all right so real quick Chinese fire spice uh, work that in a little bit all right here comes the liquid love liquid Ooh, watch it now watch it now Veggies are all cut. Here's the spread. We have onion. I got sliced up this uh, rutabaga. Kind of thin. Uh, kind of do it instead of bamboo shoots. Which is however y'all want to do it. <clears throat> Juliana carrots. I got some fresh green beans. Multiple kinds of pepper. I got a uh, little bell pepper. Sweet red pepper, bell pepper, jalapeno, got uh, I don't know, poblano, and also add some mushroom. Along with this, instead of having fresh ginger, it's just too easy with the squeeze. A little ginger and garlic. All right, put a little coconut oil down the bottom of the pan. I like the flavor. And a little bit of olive oil as well. So, you make your own choices to taste. The idea is it's cooking. There's no way to really do it wrong. 
How does it taste good to you? Oh. Whatever takes the longest, I like to cook first. These are going to be the onions and the um, rutabaga. I actually do have the proper utensils to cook with. I don't always use the rubber spatula, but for something like this where I don't have to worry about precise flipping, um, I don't mind using that at all. So, got a medium high heat because you want it to cook kind of quick. I remember there's a lot of ingredients and none of them really have to go that long. So, with the onions, I usually start these off for a couple minutes by themselves. Really big as a root vegetable. So it has a little bit of a, a chew to it. Al dente as it were. Now the other ones that take a long, longer time to, to cook, of course, it will be your carrots and uh, fresh green beans. If it was anything out of a can, snow peas or beans or anything, I would put that in at the end only because it's already soft and being canned. And a lot of the canned vegetables have a lot of extra salt in them. As often as possible, I try to use all fresh veggies. A lot easier in the summer Especially if you have them grown in your own backyard. But, uh, man, winter time and early spring, sometimes it's a little sketchy getting good veggies. Or if you do get them, you pay a premium price for them. Because they're always, always coming out of uh, Mexico or Chile or somewhere down south. And this is just going to take a little bit. You don't want to push it. You don't want to force it. You really want all those flavors to blend together. And um, if you put in soft vegetables like your mushrooms, they don't take long to cook at all. Or your peppers, they'll actually get too tender. They'll get mushy on you. So you put your root vegetables, turnips, carrots, I don't use parsnips or potatoes because they're not very keto friendly. And uh, honestly, I have really adjusted to the lifestyle of keto. Prefer to uh, just eat the things that don't inflame my body. Inflammation is like <clears throat> the number one reason for the health issues we have. A lot of liver damage and arthritis and all kinds of stuff just from eating, drinking, and smoking. A standard American diet. Just sad. Knowing better and doing better. Two completely different betters. Don't look at it as a diet, consider it a lifestyle. Alright. A quick saute on that. Make them all the peppers at once. And you just want to stir them around so they get good even amount of time, buy them in a pan. Any of these veggies you can eat raw. Carrots, peppers, onion with a little salt on it, mmm, nothing like the day of the season. I, I don't think I'd be chewing on the rutabaga, but that's me personally. I'm sure people do. I'm not a huge fan of raw broccoli, but broccoli and uh, cauliflower is something that you see at the salad bar is a regular topping, uncooked. 
I used to slice vegetables for the salad bar at the grocery store. Maybe something I should do when you're a kid just to pay the bills. You learn a lot. Well, these jobs they don't have the uh, minimum wage starter jobs that teach you about responsibility and <clears throat> showing up for work on time, dress properly. Pretty good. Scheduled appointment, earning money, a little bit of money you get. Now the minimum wage is just ridiculously high because they're considered a living wage. Minimum wage jobs are for people just getting into the workforce. You're not supposed to work the entire career at the absolute minimum that an employee can legally pay you. But, yeah, entry level jobs. I don't know. I don't know when I started it was, uh, was it 365. I was with a you gotta call it a student. You know what? It was there to work before you were 16. You had to get a uh, commission. Anyway, fairly different economy nowadays. Now this is looking good. Beautiful colors of the different vegetables. That's one of the things I like about it. A good stir fry saute. It's just nice to look at. Alright, mushrooms don't take long at all. And I know I seasoned the fish, but I want the vegetables to have a little bit of own seasoning. Just good old seasoning salt. Doesn't need a lot of it. You got soy sauce in there too. We're going to flavor this up a little bit. Garlic does not take long to cook at all. Very fragrant. You can pretty much smell it as soon as it hits the pan. This little squeeze of garlic. I used to cut a lot of garlic. I used to put it in everything. And um, it's one of those medicinal type, a lot of good medicinal uses for garlic. Ginger. Some people you gotta watch the ginger. They they think it's spicy like hot. It's just uh aromatic. So let's stir those in. And to blend all these flavors together. Yeah, you can really smell that. It's awesome. Wow, so I'm gonna hit it with a little more the sesame oil. This has its own smell when it cooks. It's absolutely amazing. And you can see we're not skimping on flavor. Now, for my serving, I'll hit it with a little hot sauce. I love me some hot sauce. For this, hottest thing I have in here is some jalapeno pepper. Nothing crazy. It doesn't have to be spicy. A little more of the uh, soy. Now we're sodium soy sauce. Get all these jobbing together. Got a nice color on it. Alright, that pan is hot. Like I said, you're in medium high heat. And it didn't take that long to to cook all these veggies through. They look good. They smell good. Now comes the magic time. Then as we slice the fish into thin strips, it will cook very quickly. And I cannot stand dried out tuna. Tuna in the can is not tuna at all. And I will make salad. Canned fish, but usually uh, 
if I do that, it's usually uh, either canned salmon or mackerel is a really good oily fish. Uh, another good one is, uh, oh, you can get some smoked white fish. I make a really nice smoked white fish salad. But, I don't know, it's just me. Every other week it's the boy who doesn't eat that kind of stuff. So I don't even make it anymore. It is what it is. I get my, uh, I get enough fish in other ways. I do prefer fresh fish. If you can catch it yourself, by all means, just put a new tip on the uh, fishing pole. I had a cinder block fall over on my truck. Right when I got to the fishing hole. And I uh, broke the tip off. Oh. Making sure it's getting good even heat. And with that marinade on it, of course the color is going to be different. Darker. Usually when you put this tuna, you can see it lightens right up. This is why I like my little flipping spatula. Because it's got a really nice, thin, flexible edge. Great for turning eggs and whatnot. Like I said, this is more just a stir fry. So, it's more pan friendly. I don't usually use uh, the Teflon coated pans. But, this one sits out on the stove top now. So I've been using it a lot. They are easy to wash. You can see the difference in the color with these too. As you turn it. Really good sushi grade tuna. You buy it at the fish market. By all means, have at it. As long as you know you're fresh right off the boat. But anything that lays around, I definitely wouldn't trust. Wouldn't trust eating it raw. So you got all that seasoning that was marinated in the fish. Now you got all the seasoning that's in the vegetables. Now that that fish is cooked, just incorporate it all together. And honestly, guys, look at that dinner for me. I do. Uh, I don't really eat bread anymore or anything. So I don't eat the, um, the rice noodles anymore. I used to eat something like this I'd have had chow mein noodles. But um, this is just going to get a little hot sauce. And we're going to call that dinner. What a glorious Saturday. Alrighty. And on that note, I'm going to turn off the heat, plate a little bit of this up with some hot sauce, and uh, bone up a teeth. Happy Saturday. Bye now.